Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, and Yozori. All right, that should do it. Thank you. I think we got them. Brand new edition, January edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Just came out. And we're stacking them up, getting ready for the shows. Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Of course, it's a brand new year, and I hope to uh, hope you have more fishing and a little bit more success as part of your uh, resolutions for 2019. As we're getting everything ready for the show season and that brand new January edition that is out this week, you subscribers should get a copy of it pretty soon and we'll be on newsstands. We'll be bringing it to all the shows as well. And as far as the fishing goes, the latest reports that we have in there, it's everything about blackfish. Tog is definitely taking the top billing uh, along the Jersey and Delaware coast right now. As a matter of fact, I spoke with Frank Mahalik, one of our fishermen contributors and a self-described Togaholic. He was out on the Cape May Lady over the New Year's Eve weekend, one of the last trips, I guess, of, uh, of, of 2018, but he hit his personal best, a PB, 15 pounder down there off of Cape May. Those Tog are now providing the best regional action wherever you are. And whether you're uh, party boating, like you're on the Cape May Lady, perhaps you're on the Norma K or the Big Mohawk, all these party boats running out of all these ports in New Jersey, that's definitely what they're going to be gearing up towards. Or if you're waiting until you get back to port to fillet your fish, you're on one of those hardcore charter boats. Those folks are out there like the Barb Gale and others. But it's definitely the best game in town right now. So you definitely want to get on it. And if you don't have a boat in the water, don't worry about it. Like I said, those charter boats that are running through the winter, keeping those boats in January and February, it's definitely tog time. So it's uh, something for you to get a tug on the line and bring some fresh fillets home for dinner. Of course, Black Sea Bass is now closed for the winter. Boats like the Gambler. We're getting into the, the Black Sea Bass offshore right up until the 11th hour, right up until that closing at the end of New Year's Eve. Uh, so before they ended the season, before we kick it back up again into the spring, there was an opportunity to load up. Even a few other species like porgies and weakfish. Jeez, who said those weakfish are headed north and south? If you have a disappearance, you might want to go out to the offshore grounds. That looks like where some of those weakfish were. Now many of the hardcore for hire boats, the charter and party boats, putting anglers on fish will be focused on ling, some cod, porgies of course, and again, of some of those blackfish as well. There are a few of those straggling stripers to be found in the wash. Uh, they're on small baits. Uh, I guess that'll happen until the water temperatures really begin to plummet. Saw those polar bear challenges over the weekend. I think the water temperature is still in the mid to upper 40s. So there's still an opportunity for you to get up there with those sand eel imitations and those teasers to hit a couple of stripers in the wash. I also heard from Joe Scafidi and crew of the Rodfather 3 right before New Year's. They were out December 28th, still getting on those stripers down off of Cape May County. All those wheeling birds and whales offshore as well. So there's still stripers out front. And don't forget that closure that we have in New Jersey, it's only in the back bay. So you're still able to go target some striped bass and who knows, you might get a keeper out of the wash as well. Don't forget though, those, the time for using those bonus tags. Anybody who had a 2018 bonus tag to take one of those slot stripers, your time is done. All right, those tags are no good once we start the new year. Don't forget too, you've got to uh, submit those fishing logs. The state of New Jersey needs them to collect a lot of good data on striped bass as well. So if you, if you got those uh, bonus tags, whether you used them or not, make sure you fill in those fishing logs, get them out to the state. You only have until January 15th. And if you don't get it there, you could threaten to not get that application next year, I'm telling you. A lot of rain over the weekend meant that those pine barrens are loaded up with water. Those, those bogs, lakes, ponds out in the pines, and definitely some pickerel biting as well. Frank and Jake Rosinski got on them, as usual. They're always out there in the pines looking to get it done with the kayaks. But again, great opportunity if you feel like a Saturday or Sunday drive out in the pines, go looking for some of those pickerel as well. If you're looking for other options, again, the January edition is out. We've got it stacked up here, ready to go to the shows. You've got some good information uh, in the magazine on catch and tog, maybe some salmon in the state of New Jersey, ling also, plug building, and some good winter prep stuff as well. Of course, the January edition is also our boat buyer special, so there's a lot of good information if you're looking to get in on the boating lifestyle. 
We're bringing this edition, plenty of goodies on the road this winter. First up is the Garden State Outdoor Show. We're unloading stuff and getting everything ready for that show. That's going to be next weekend. That's January 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th. We're at booth number 327, right through the front door. It's $15 at the door, but you can get discounted tickets by visiting gsoss.com. I hope to see you out there. I hope to see you along the rail, one of the party boats in the next couple of weeks too. We'll do a little bit of black fishing together as well. Do it now before you get wrapped up in yet another work or home project. We'll see you again next week right here at thefisherman.com.